Now, be, I have been welcomed here to deliver my opening remarks, but before I do that, Your Excellency, I would beg your indulgence so that, because the, the delegations were requested to stand when they are being introduced by the leaders, their leaders did not have a chance to stand, and some of them might not know each other. So I'll go through the list so that we get to know each other, and then I will give you my opening remarks. Your Excellency, here we have right Honorable Segepo Solomon Thomas, who is the President of the CPA Africa Region and Speaker of the Parliament of Sierra Leone. Thank you so much for coming. We also have right Honorable Jata Fabakari Thobog, Vice President of the CPA Africa Region and Speaker of the Parliament of the Gambia. Thank you so much. We also have Right Honorable Catherine Gotanihara, Chairperson of the Africa, of the CPA Africa Region Executive Committee and Speaker of the National Parliament of Malawi. Thank you so much. We also have Honorable Paul Christian Makonda, the Regional Commissioner for Arusha. Thank you so much. We also have Right Honorable Arthur Holder, who is the acting chairperson of the CPA International and Speaker of the Parliament of Barbados. Thank you so much. We also have Mr. Stephen Twig, who is the Secretary General of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. Thank you so much. We also have Mr. Javis Matia, the Deputy Secretary General of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. Thank you so much. And um, if there's anybody that I missed, I will request the list towards the end. I will talk to the Secretary, the Secretary General for CPA Africa Region just now, and I will mention you towards the end, if I've missed you. Your Excellency Dr. Philip Isdori Mpango, Vice President of the United Republic of Tanzania, since the rest of the leaders who are sitting with me on the high table have been ably introduced to you, I'll not go through the protocol in order to save time. The person who was just introducing you a while ago is the new uh, clerk of the National Assembly of Tanzania, and this is Mr. Baraka. Sometimes we forget to introduce uh, uh, the people who talk here. So I'd like to begin by expressing my gratitude to the Almighty God for bringing you all here safely. You're all welcome to Tanzania. But I would also like to uh, extend my sincere appreciation to you, Your Excellency, for accepting to come here to represent Her Excellency Dr. Samia Salu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania. And this invitation was sent to you knowing that this uh, 53rd CPA Africa annual general conference, regional conference is very important to us as parliamentarians, but also as CPA family. Your Excellency, we are deeply grateful for your willingness to take time out of your very uh, busy schedule and your numerous regional, national, and international responsibilities to preside over the opening of this important conference. On behalf of everyone gathered here, I extend my heartfelt thanks for the honor and privilege of your presence. Your attendance today clearly reflects the trust and confidence you have in the pivotal role of parliament in advancing our shared national, regional, and global agendas. In the same breath, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to honorable speakers, delegates, members of the Secretariat, accompanying officials, and invited guests for honoring our invitation by coming in great numbers. Your presence is invaluable, and I assure you that your stay here in Arusha will be fruitful, memorable, and filled with warmth of your brothers and sisters from this beautiful country. Dear colleagues, I must also recognize the tireless efforts of the Parliament of Tanzania and the CPA Africa Regional Secretariat in organizing this prestigious gathering. Special thanks to all of you 
who have contributed to making this event a success. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today to welcome you to the 53rd CPA Africa Annual Regional Conference here in the beautiful city of Arusha. This conference marks a significant milestone in our efforts, in our collective efforts to foster parliamentary democracy and strengthening regional cooperation. I would like to express our profound gratitude for the presence of our distinguished guests from various parts of Africa and beyond. Your participation not only underscores the importance of this conference, but also enriches our discussions with your invaluable insights and experiences. When the Secretariat approached me to seek support from the Parliament of Tanzania in hosting this conference, I was indeed very uh, pleased, especially given that no host has been confirmed despite the annual regional conference roster already being established. Without hesitation, I agreed to do that. And I took responsibility to do this because I firmly believe that as Africans, we must unite to confront the numerous challenges we face together. As the conference unfolds, I am sincerely grateful for the opportunity uh, it provides for collaboration and dialogue among all of us. Let us work together during this conference to strengthen our bonds and advance our shared goals. Your Excellency, the annual general conference was held in 2022, two years ago. However, I have had an opportunity to meet some of you at the SADC uh, PF and during my quest for the presidency of the Interparliamentary Union, of which I was with my sister, Catherine, Ga uh, Ka Catherine Gotanhara from Malawi. We were the African candidates. Not just us, there were others, but in the CPA family. For many of the delegates who are here today, they haven't had a chance to hear from me thanking you and your countries for supporting this candidature. So I would like to take this opportunity to extend my appreciation to all of you for the support that you supported all of us as candidates of Africa. And as I stood as a winner, we have all won together and we will all lead together. Your Excellency, we can all confidently agree that CPA Africa is an important forum for parliamentarians. Your role is crucial as we uphold and promote gender equality, the emancipation of women, respect for human rights, democracy, and good governance. Colleagues, your, contribution are vital. your contributions are vital. As we focus on the socioeconomic challenges facing the people we represent, like food security, youth unemployment, and the impact of climate change. It is this collective dedication that makes CPA Africa a success. The National Assembly of Tanzania, being among the 63 members of this distinguished association of, parli of parliaments, has always been at the forefront of setting the agenda and participating in discussions of the resolutions which we, the parliaments, cannot execute ourselves without the involvement of the executive arm of the state, that's the governments of our respective countries. We enjoy such a sound cooperation with the government here in Tanzania. Your Excellency, please convey our appreciation to Her Excellency Dr. Samia Salu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and the entire government for this cooperation. Your Excellency, thank you. Your Excellency, dear colleagues, the theme of this year's conference, Africa's Parliament at the forefront of addressing existential global challenges, food insecurity, climate change, and youth employment, resonates profoundly with our shared goals and aspirations. Over the coming days, we will engage in meaningful discussions, workshops, and committee meetings to strengthen our legislative frameworks, promote good governance, and ensure sustainable development across our member states. This conference 
will feature several key activities, including CPA Africa Regional Conference workshops. These workshops, Your Excellency, will serve as a valuable platform for exchanging knowledge on best practices in parliamentary procedures and enhancing our legislative impact. The executive, secondly, we have the executive committee meetings which have already begun under the able leadership of the Speaker of Malawi, Right Honorable uh, Catherine Gutanihara. These meetings will focus on making critical decisions that will shape the strategic direction of the CPA Africa and enhance our regional cooperation. Thirdly, we will have Commonwealth Women Parliamentarians, CWP, Africa Business Meeting. This segment will prioritize empowering women parliamentarians and addressing the gender-specific challenges which within our legislative bodies, fostering greater inclusivity and representation. And I would like to take this opportunity to urge all of us to take a copy of the anthem for women parliamentarians of the Commonwealth because it gives a direction of where CPA would want to reach with the body of women within our parliament, but also within our countries that we represent. As we embark on this journey together, I encourage each of you to actively participate in all sessions. Your insights, experiences, and contributions are essential as we collectively strive toward our shared objectives. Let us use this platform to forge stronger partnerships, exchange innovative ideas, and develop actionable strategies that will benefit our respective countries and the entire African continent. Your Excellency, dear colleagues, as we open this meeting today, I urge all of you to think beyond the borders of our individual nations. Let us leverage our collective influence to ensure that our discussions here lead to concrete and, out, uh, and impactful outcomes that will truly transform the lives of the people we represent. Our efforts this week must go beyond rhetoric. They must serve as a catalyst for legislative action. As we deliberate on the strategies to combat food insecurity, tackle climate change, and empower our youth. Let us stay anchored in the belief that, as Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. And Mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere once said, it can't be done, play your part. Thus, somebody must take a step to do it, it is because it is possible. And I would urge you to be that somebody who has to take a step. Together, we can and we will position Africa's parliaments at the forefront of meaningful change, championing the well-being of our people, protecting our environment, and creating a future where our youth can look forward to endless possibilities filled with hope and opportunity. Distinguished colleagues and delegates. In conclusion, I once again welcome all of you to Arusha, the Geneva of Africa. This city is a powerful symbol of unity and progress, serving as a central hub for international diplomacy and regional cooperation, which is crucial for promoting peace and development in Eastern and Central Africa. Arusha represents a unique opportunity to achieve multiple objectives in a single visit. With its excellent year-round climate, the city provides an ideal setting for our discussions and collaborations. Furthermore, in strategic, its strategic location along the Great North Road, connecting Cape Town to Cairo, and I had people from Western Cape here, you want to wave your hands? Thank you. Enhances the accessibility and positions it favorably for regional connectivity. Additionally, Arusha is the gateway to Tanzania's renowned northern tourist circuit, offering access to breathtaking destinations, such as the Ngorongoro Crater, which you will have a chance to visit, 
Manyara National Park, Tarangire and the Serengeti National Parks, Arusha National Park and Mount Meru, as well as Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the highest peak of Africa, at the same time the highest peak uh, in the world for a freestanding mountain. I encourage all of you to take some time to experience this natural beauty here in Africa and the warmth of the people of Tanzania. We are committed to ensuring your stay here is both memorable and comfortable. For those who will remain in Arusha after the conference, we will still be at your disposal to give you all the services that you will need. May our stay here be memorable, our discussions fruitful, our determination steadfast, and our unit unbreakable. I thank you for listening. Sawa, tumeza basi kumsikia hapo, Dr. Tulia Axon, ambaye ni speaker wa bunge la Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na rais wa Muungano wa Mabunge Duniani IPU. CPA, Af CPA Africa Region will will reintroduce the members who did not stand so that we get to know each other. Thank you so much. Sawa, lakini pia uh, mtazamaji wa TBC 1 kumbuka tu kwamba uh, Dr. Tulia Axon ndo mwanamke wa kwanza kutoka barani Afrika kushika wadhifa huo. Na utakumbuka pia Dr. Gratias Limo uh, utakumbuka kwamba Dr. Tulia Axon amechukua nafasi hiyo uh, kutoka kwa bwana uh, Duarte Pacheco ambaye ni mbunge wa huko Ureno.